My husband called me in the garage and he's got this little duckling in his hand. We looked everywhere for his mommy or family and we didn't see anything. We live on a lake. I believe that he was left behind or maybe just wandered off and the mom didn't realize he was gone. He was probably one of the smaller ones. Maybe the reason why he was left behind or couldn't keep up. There's a lot of predators around and I don't believe he would have made it being out there on his own. My husband looked at me and he said, you can take care of him. <laughs> he was so tiny no bigger than my fingers. He thought I was his mom. He followed me everywhere. I stopped, he stopped. I ran, he ran. I had no clue how to take care of ducks. I did a lot of looking up, a lot of reading. I actually managed. I surprised myself. <laughs> I did everything I can for him. He free roamed the house. He walked around like he owned the place. <laughs> The cat would just look at him like, what is that? Why are you in my house? Let me go hide. I taught him to be able to survive outdoors. I let him get used to fending for his own food out there and teach him the outdoor life. I was actually very nervous about Mick being able to fly because I read that domesticated ducks can't fly. But no, Mick started flying. He was a little wobbly, but he got better in time. Every day we went out, he would always come to the door with me and we come inside for the night. At four months old, he didn't come to the door with me and I realized, oh my God, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> um, I, I realized he wanted to stay outside. He wanted to be with the other ducks. My big boy, look at him all grown. Needless to say, sleepless nights. All night long I went out there. I checked on him, I put a flashlight in his face. He sees a female. It was a choice that he made and as much as it broke my heart, I wasn't gonna stop him from being a normal duck. He did come in still after that, so that made me happy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, baby. My boy. Hi. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, he would be sitting by the sliding glass door waiting for me. He's so funny. He knocks. As soon as he see that front door open, he'd just be so excited. Oh my goodness, my mommy left all day and went to work. There's times he would just do his own duck thing and I would go out there and he would see me and he'd come running so fast and I was like, oh mommy, you're home. I haven't seen you all day. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi, baby. He gave his loud huffs. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, baby. <laughs> he was able to hang out with the other ducks, but if he saw mommy, he had to come over and say hi really, really fast. Then he had to go back to his ducks. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> he knew his name the second I called him. He definitely come over to me. Nick. Hi, baby. <laughs> Look at my boy in the rain. <laughs> Look at my husband like a stranger alert. <laughs> his head would go up high and his little mohawk would go up. <laughs> Seriously thinks he can sit on my shoulders still. I was able to get everything that he wanted, everything he needed, the attention, the love, just everything. <laughs> Are you hungry? You hungry? The only thing I couldn't give him was the female duck companionship. Look at my boy running to his mama on Mother's Day. He's so excited. Look at him running. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> November 14, 2023, about 4.30 in the morning, I fed him, and uh, that was the last time I seen him. For a male duck, it is very common for them to take off and explore. I tell myself, if he didn't feel confident enough to leave, and if I didn't teach him everything he needed to know, he would have never left. He would have never felt comfortable enough to leave, and I feel great about that. I just worry. Not knowing breaks my heart.